All right, I recently picked up a ton of purses from Timu. Let's see if they are good or unusable. Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I wanted to share with you my latest Timu haul, and how this came about is I was on the internet like I usually am, popping in and out of stores, and in the top bar there's the Google Ads. Well, I do, go, I do look into Timu, so I had Timu Ads, and it showed a similar purse to one of the Miloys that I picked up, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to see if that's similar. <laughs> so, headed over there, carted that one, and then while I was there, I was like, well, let's see a lot of these other ones. So, what they do are, I guess, dupes, similar to what Amazon does or Walmart. They do a, I guess, designer-inspired, but they're not like replicas or like the super dupe. So it isn't gonna have like the logos or the brand name on it, I don't think, but it is in the likeness of. So I wanted to see the quality and see the styles that they had. So I picked up a ton. Let's see if there's any good ones or if they're all just terrible. <laughs> I have no idea, but I wanted to give you my first impressions and a closer look at these. So if you're interested to see what I picked up and my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. Okay, so how I think we're gonna need to do this unboxing is a one by one to get a first impression and then I will check it out a little bit more. So of course the packaging isn't nice. They're kind of all just shoved into one larger bag, but they are individually wrapped. And I wanted to say, I don't know which one of these are designer inspired or not. I just went on the site and picked some that I like because I do love purses and if I can find any good ones at a reasonable price, I just love that a bag can spruce up an outfit. And so it did come with a little dust bag and this is the first one, this rich blue with gold. And my first impression, I actually think it's cute. Oh, let's see. So it does come with a shoulder strap and then like a little protected gold plate. But this is kind of cute, actually. I don't have a blue purse and I was kind of considering getting a patent leather and so that's why I chose this one. And no weird smell at all. This is really cute. It does have little feet and a kind of faux braided handle. So this is the first one. Okay, and on the inside, there are two areas to store items. A center zipper there, uh, two pockets on the side. I will say the interior is like a plastic. So not a canvas, not a material. It is plastic, so the good thing in that is if you had makeup or anything spill, it would be easy to clean up, but it, I would say the inside doesn't look nice, but it's functional. Okay, and the second one also comes with a dust bag and a cute little, I'd say kind of basic black purse and it's really cute i like the kind of basket weave design i thought this would be cute just as a smaller casual bag so this is certainly going to be very easy to wear cross body since it has a pretty flat design and it has a nice zipper actually still in that black hardware let's check out the oh there's a snap pocket right here in the front which is nice and the inside is kind of a plasticky material and there is a side pocket, slotted pocket there and a zipper pocket. Oh, a zipper pocket with a slot also on the other side. So that's nice. So this is actually really cute. Like this would be great like to go to a daytime concert or just something really casual. It's pretty minimal and just classic and I like all the separate pocket areas. How cute. Okay, so my first impressions on this is how unique. I would say the only thing I don't like is what it says right here, fashion and bags leather is weird, but the feeling is nice and the like design shape is really cute. They should remove this and put nothing or 
like a design or something. Would have been way better. How unique. And I like unique purses, if you don't know. <laughs> something that's a little different because I do wear like a lot of classic casual clothes. So I think, you know, having a fun purse is a really neat way to spice things up. So this is a neat shape. It has like smooth finish. It does have feet on the bottom. And I guess these like raised panels here, no pockets or anything on the outside. I can see a little bit of the glue or stitching. I don't know right there, but not a huge thing. And it does have gold hardware. And then even this unique uh, stitched handle, which is pretty cute. I don't know, this one's really cute. And so it has magnetic closure on the top and the ma magnets seem really nice. But this flap is kind of, oh yeah, the flap is probably fallen off. I, I think that's supposed to be glued down and the glue has failed on the interior. And then in the inside, it's just plain with a striped finish but the glue has failed right there. So they tried, this is really like this, I don't know, okay. And the leather looks like it would, or whatever, pleather, I'm sure it is, which it's a nice pleather, feels great. We'll show signs of wear really fast in those flaps. So quality and longevity wise, obviously first off the bat, it's, it's already failing but oh my gosh, really cute. If you don't mind fixing that and you love this design, I'm not sure what this is a dupe for. So there's that one. And none of these have had a smell yet. So I know like I, I do get think, some things from China that smell and none of these have yet, knock on wood. So really cute. Cute. Okay, another, I, I would say classic. Let me get this paper off. The strap is really short, but I love these buckles on the side right here. Really cute. And then a classic moon-shaped design. It has the faux pebbled leather look. The zipper is a little weird. Um, there are two. They zip just fine, but it's, I don't know. The zipper's not the best off right off the bat. Oh, the inside's nice. The inside, mm, it is kind of plasticky, not as plasticky as the others, but it has kind of the faux canvas look. No pockets or anything in there, and the purse is pretty small, so that is not uh, too shocking. And I wonder if these buckles do anything. I wonder if these can come up like that. I don't know if they're supposed to come up to give you more room or not, but they do unhinge from these. So I guess you could fit it over your shoulder. That's kind of cute. So a real minimalistic, uh, basic black little purse with silver hardware. So really cute and it feels great. No weird smell. I would say the only thing on this is it is only a shoulder bag or like that, but yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I, I prefer kind of more of a crossbody option, but overall, really cute design, and it feels fine, it feels just fine. This is kind of exciting, because you just don't know it. I don't know what I'm gonna get. And I would say, I think the shipping took about a week. It wasn't that long. Okay, so another, I would say classic, so this is nice. It looks like a black leather pebble finished handbag. And I do see the little rings here. So I think that would be for the shoulder strap. There's an exterior zipper here on the side and it's not real big. So maybe you could fit lip gloss or something like that in there. Two separate compartments, zippered compartments. So nice security. And it does have a thin strap. So, the inside is a faux canvas, I would say on the lighter plasticky side, so probably a bit nicer polyester or something. It does have a zipper in one side, a zipper slot, and then on the other side there's a lined, leather lined slot, so really nice. Kind of leather strap, it feels nice though, it doesn't feel plasticky, it has an adjustable um, buckle there, and then the black hardware. So not silver, not gold, black hardware. 
The zippers on here are not super smooth, but not super bad. I think what is expected. And the length is good. This would be a good little everyday purse. The side handles lay down pretty flat, I think. So that's kind of nice. No dust bag on this one, <laughs> so I can see it through the plastic. And a lot going on here, let's see. So I was kind of considering a pink purse, but didn't really want to commit because it's not something I'd wear a lot, but I've been getting into pink lately and with spring coming up, perfect timing. And this one does have a little bit of a bad smell. It does come with this little charm, which I'm not exactly sure where you're supposed to put it, but that's cute. And it does have a logo here, which I'm not a super fan of, but this little design here is nice. It has a white stitching contrasted to the black edges. And then this design is really cute as well. There are three separate slotted areas. So there is a side area here that has a snap. The center has a zipper on the top. Let's try the zipper. It's all right. Zipper's fine. Uh, it has an interior side zipper and the inside's plasticky. And then another side slot in the center. And then the other side has a button closure too. So you could have all your stuff neatly organized in there. And then it does have a strap. The purse itself is kind of a smooth, soft feeling leather. And then of course it does have these metal handles, which are really thin. So a little uncomfortable for me. It does have feet on the bottom too. So overall, I mean, I would say this is a preference look. It's got a lot going on. And then an adjustable buckle strap there. Okay, there's a lot of purses. <laughs> but I like exploring. I like to test things out. I, I have to see it in person. I have to touch it. Because I have gotten high-end things and been very disappointed. So you just never know. You never know. Okay, this one smells. I can already smell it. Okay, so I do remember this one on the site and I'm glad I ordered it to take a look. So I thought this was like really unique and like boho-ish is what it reminded me of which I thought this design on the front was really unique. And it looks like a real leather with the kind of uh, coloring that it has. So really interesting. And then the handles with these leather loops. This back zipper works pretty good. It's pretty small. You couldn't fit a phone or anything in there. The top zipper is good, it, but you do. Need, it looks like you do need to hold it to zip it back up because this end is loose and it does smell. That's a bad thing. Um, okay, so the inside kind of feels uh, like a linen. Almost a little plasticky, but probably the most believable <laughs> linen canvas. And then the in, so the, the inside has this one side slot with two little slotted trimmed pockets on the side, a center, a center compartment that zips right there, and then on, uh, the, on the other side, a zipper side closure that is pretty small. So overall, that one's pretty unique. All right, we're almost through bag one. <laughs> and this one does feel a little more plasticky, but it is a cute size. I like the size. And it does have this neat textured front, so a lot of different things going on. So it does snap, but you kind of have to line them up. Let's check out the inside. Hmm. 
So I don't know, this is like kind of a wallet design. This, if it didn't, if this laid flatter, it could almost be like a clutch too, but this is kind of in the way and, and it, it's already misshapen. So you probably could fix that, especially with use, but um, overall, this is a neat design, but probably the least impressive uh, for me. But if you were looking at it, because uh, we all have our own preferences, it does have gold hardware. It is a cute little size. It do, does have two magnetic closures. And the inside is the same material as the outside. So there are two slots on either side of the center zipper one. Uh, but real little, this is like a going out bag. Okay, this doesn't have the bad fishy smell. It has a, like a chemical smell, <laughs> like glue or something. So usually what happens if I get a purse that I love and it has a weird smell, I just leave it out on the patio for a couple days and that's it. But this is actually really cute. So it didn't have any stuffing. So I'm not, 100% sure of the shape it's supposed to be. The inside is the fake, totally plasticky canvas, but this would be cute for an outing, uh, like going to the beach or the park or just something outdoorsy because it kind of gives a basket vibe, but also leather. Um, it feels all right. It's not super plasticky. It is plastic though. I could tell the leather, the plastic, uh, the straps feel pretty plasticky. Um, the side is a little more um, soft and malleable. I actually tried one from Amazon recently, a blue one, and that, it kind of reminds me of that. But this is a little bit nicer because it's all lined. There is an interior side slotted pocket, but pretty basic overall. Okay, so this is just kind of a basic um, leather looking uh, bag. And in brown, so almost in the big bag trend, it does have a top snap. The inside has a soft material. I don't know what it is. Oh, and it has a little pouch too. The bottom, so the insides are this kind of uh, greenish, blue color and then it does have a faux leather bottom so this is actually pretty minimalistic this would be great again if you needed a purse that's actually really cute <laughs> if you needed a purse that you didn't want to get ruined but you were going somewhere and uh, it gives a nice slouchy look i don't know i i i'm not sure about the big band big bag trend and um i kind of usually like a more tailored purse but this is perfect because something like this at this price level um i would wouldn't mind having this and if i love it then i search for one in a real leather that's gonna last a lot longer because i wouldn't expect this to last a long time but before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on something like this. It's good to see if you like it or not. So uh, pretty impressed with this. It just has the knots. So a real basic uh, purse, but the finish on it just looks really nice. So it does kind of have a textured outside that makes it look like leather, not too shiny. It might look extra shiny here with the light, but in person, it, it looks really good. Uh, no zippers to deal with, no buckles or anything. Um, just this one button. I think I saw one like this on Amazon and I was kind of considering getting a purple purse, but I was like, oh, I don't know, because I definitely wouldn't use it a lot. But of course, this style is just so cute because I, I wouldn't say this looks like a uh, Kel Hermes Kelly, but kind of similar in that design and other people make these designs they can't have the only one but just this front buckle thing here i mean i guess it's missing the flap but anyway that's really cute the leather feels good everywhere else except this plasticky 
So this panel right here is not the same color as anywhere else and it's like a patent leather. So the leathers don't match. So for me, I don't like that. But overall, it's really cute. Maybe in another color, it wouldn't have that. Um, the inside is kind of that plasticky material. It's all open. There is one side zipper pocket and the top handles. So I think in this color uh, combo, it's really not the best, but um, overall, I, I think maybe even in some other finish, it might be better. So pretty cute, pretty cute. So this uh, I had to get because it is like the Dior saddlebag, but it had this whole weave thing, which I thought was really cute. It does have this little gold dangly thing. So it's a saddlebag style, but different with the weave. Um, so a unique shape. I don't know, that's kind of cute. So let's get the strap. So it has two, uh, and it feels pretty hefty. Like this is pretty thick, not flimsy. Um, I like the trim that it's looped in like the pleather and the double uh, snaps are nice. The zipper. So see when it's not connected, that's, I don't like that, but that's how, that's how most purses are. Um, let's see. So the zipper's okay. Not the best, but not bad. Cute. The inside's like a red burgundy color. There's one side slotted pocket in there and just kind of a, some kind of polyester material. So real small space, definitely a going out bag or something like that. If you are walking around a town and don't wanna bring a really huge bag. And let's see, I prefer the zipper to be down in there. Too bad they didn't connect it. Oh, there's two straps. Okay, so you get a kind of guitar strap, just plain uh, material one with the gold hardware or a little uh, roped one in the same material as the bag. I don't like, I don't like this strap. It's too plain, I think, especially for this purse. I mean, that's cute. It's real tight up here for me on my shoulder, but it's a cute look. It's a cute look and uh, the basket weave is interesting uh, and unique. Oh, so cute. Okay. So uh, I think this is kind of Chanel inspired and in pink, isn't that cute? So it does have a little back pocket and this little gold um, front closure and it is a really yellow gold um, I guess my ring is that color so anyway if you don't like really yellow gold which fun fact uh, real well real gold is pretty yellow <laughs> uh, the softer golds is because they add more nickel to it so a little fun fact I learned when I had a bracelet made <laughs> Oh, the strap is so cute. Okay. So this purse, I am gonna say, is not the highest quality, but for the look, really cute. The um, strap has some weight to it. The top has just one zipper. There is a little side pocket in there. The inside is not the worst plasticky canvas. A little tiny side zipper in there. And then let's check this top zipper. Eh, not the best, but usable. But this would be really cute for the spring. I like it. I like this one. Adjustable here. Let's see. I like the strap. That's cute. I like it. I like this one. Really cute. <laughs> And it feels soft. It's like a soft um, 
leather. Now, again, I can already see it like caving in here, so I wouldn't expect any of these to last too long, but I'm probably gonna fill that out and get some reshaping because I think it was a little smushed in the bag with a lot, but uh, this one's really cute. And I was looking for a pink purse, so I think this might be it. Okay, uh, this looks familiar. I don't know what brand it's supposed to replicate. I think Dior, maybe, with the design. It's actually really cute. Uh, the handles are skinny though. The good thing is they lay flat. It has a, a faux embossing all on the outside. This is extra here the little um, button, so you could expand this if you really fill up your purse. The, oh, the zipper felt nice, let's see. Okay, so the zipper is actually really nice, really smooth. Um, a regular strap in a smooth leather, and there's a little charm in here with some stars. So that's kind of cute. Let's check out the inside. Okay, so plasticky inside, but the look is um, the canvas look. It has a couple side slotted pockets there, two, two, and then a center pocket, but the zipper's on the side, not on the top. Let's see if I can open that so if you can see that right there and not very large I mean I don't think you could fit your phone in there on the other side there's a side slotted zipper as well real small so you have the two side areas and then the middle flap and the embossing is all the way around the sides not on the bottom which has little feet and the handles, I'm not sure about. They just feel like plasticky, really plasticky. Yeah, I just don't like the zipper because it's kind of hard to get down in there with this tuck, so it almost has to stick out. So be aware of that. And then I don't see a good spot for the strap, so I think you must attach it to the rings. So I don't really like that option. Oh, looks like another pink one, so let's see. Oh, okay. This is actually another one from the same brand. But this is actually really cute. <laughs> This is a replica of the Miloy. Now that's a newer brand that I just found and I love it. They have really nice items and I bought a couple purses. So if you haven't seen those, now those are pricey. They're several hundred dollars. And so I saw on Timu that they had replicas of that. So I had to try it out and see uh, what was going on. If they're the exact same or similar. and it's pretty nice it's pretty nice so i i didn't get this exact one this is um the naomi probably i think i had gotten the small and this is like a like a wallet small because it has the kind of accordion style there but i actually like the multicolor, and i wasn't sure if i wanted to get that from them because i was like oh i don't know if i want to get you know and pay several hundred dollars because how much am i going to wear it just because i have uh handled the brand a, a lot um i can i can see the differences but i don't think that anyone else would <laughs> if you were just wearing this if you were wearing this and i saw it i'd be like oh you're wearing a Miloy purse like I would totally think it is um, because you'd have to look closer, which is kind of the thing, right? With all of the 
replica purses. I mean, I guess that's the whole point is you, you kind of don't know unless you really know that brand. And certainly from far away, most people can't tell. And if you're, we're not even talking about super dupes here. We're just talking about regular <laughs> cheap dupes. So again, I don't have a lot of thumb strength, so I'm gonna have to work on that. But basically you loop that on, which is the same that you do with those. Um, and it has the multicolor panels, which is really cute. Uh, the handle is not misshapen or flimsy. Looks really good. The stitching looks straight, really nice. Um, the It's not as nice as the real ones, but I mean, this could pass. I mean, the thing that's so attractive of this is the multicolor panels and multicolored leathers. Uh, you really wouldn't know it uh, to me at first hand It just looks like maybe an extra worn purse because it's a little bit like uh, I don't want to say disfigured, but not perfect <laughs> So really interesting really interesting shocking cute though. I Just have to know for myself so many things and I would say since I do shop at higher end and lower end stores I can tell if something I don't know, I feel like I can, is passable or not. Okay, so this is, that's funny that these all ended up last, it was meant to be. So this is another purse that they had on their site and I was like kind of eyeballing, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I'd wear a circly, circular purse. Now, I am sure <laughs> that the Miloy ones are nicer than this, but it certainly gives you the look for less. So let's see, and just a unique shape. So they all have the, well, they don't all, some of them have these uh, bags and this is kind of just like a soft uh, velvet. The real ones are like a suede. So there's differences, but uh, yeah, they, they have duped it. <laughs> it looks pretty similar. Now this one is a little larger, I'd say than I expected. Um, and it is a bit distorted. You could fill it and again, it could be from the shipping. So really neat. I don't know. This is, this is really cute because I was like really eyeballing this one. I just love the Miloy designs. I thought the multi leather color would be harder to dupe, but apparently not. <laughs> Okay, and then this has the same kind. That's what they do. So they use the, their their pins are different and metal. These are plastic and uh, you get that on there to put it on. So really interesting. So not the same quality, but they're going for the same look uh, is what I would say. So it is a four less look, just like every design has the dupes out there, the replicas or whatnot. And again, this doesn't have any branding, so it's not counterfeit. They're not trying to say it is that. They are just emulating the design, so. All right, and the one that caught my eye, that I was like, oh my gosh, is that my same purse? <laughs> And now I didn't get this colorway, but this design. So I was very anxious to check it out. Oh, these, I mean, a lot of these purses, half the battle is if they shipped them better. Their shipping, the packaging is terrible, but I understand they are selling them so cheap that they don't, don't pay on that. Okay, so again, uh, emulated uh, it does give you the look I will say the panels are further apart uh, it's not as structured of course it doesn't have the name brand it feels all right it feels all right it's it's a nice pleather not leather uh, it gives the same look on the inside it has kind of a canvas bag at the top where the real ones have a suede the inside is not the worst plasticky it has a side slotted pocket there and a zipper pocket on the other side. So overall, this is fun. <laughs> I really do enjoy this kind of thing, checking things out and seeing for myself. 
Uh, because I have the real ones, I'm not gonna keep these. I just had to see in person the difference. But if you love that Miloy look, like I do, I fell in love with it, I love it. Uh, and you can't afford those or don't wanna spend the money on this, I would say give this a try. You do need to reshape it, but it's really cute. This, like all the cute little pastels. I mean, it's really cute really cute so I mean I like the brand and this is a look for less and you have to know that it's not real leather I don't think any of these are so they're not gonna last forever but if you like to change your purses out like I do and you like variety and you like you know spicing it up you know it's a good it's a good option all right ladies that was my Timu purse haul did you have any favorites <laughs> I'm gonna have to look through them again, try some on, um, watch this back in editing to see wh which are my true favorites. I'll certainly link below my three top three favorites in the pinned comment below. And yeah, this was really fun. I love popping into, you know, Timu, Walmart, Amazon to see what they're up to in their uh, purses. So this was really fun. If you enjoyed this, if you thought it was fun or informative, please consider giving this a like so YouTube will press it out to more ladies that it may potentially help. I wanted to thank you so much for stopping in and spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a really great day and I hope to see you in the next one.